Hey everyone, coming at you from the baler today. It's a super smooth ride, I'm glad for an air ride seat. Makes it a little easier and not so bumpy. Coming up by my dad and Riley, they are combining the ride so that we can get the green. So that we can reseed, you can see them over there. So that we can reseed and plant more rye for next year, which means more straw. And then also anything extra that we have, we sell. So that's the 101, whatever you want to call it, on farming. So if I look away, I'm sorry, because i got a monitor to watch here to make sure that my bale's even. So there's my baler behind me. That's the bale in front of me. And that's what we've done so far. We've been running equipment all day, back and forth. When I tell you what, with some of these road closures, it's really kind of sucks. But it makes you appreciate them more when they're open, right? Kind of like the little things in life. So, as you can imagine, you have lots of time to think while you're in the tractor. I don't know if that can be a good thing or a bad thing. All of the above. You know what's when you get to the end rows? That gets a little rough. So we're just turning here to show you what we're doing. There's my dad and Riley coming back at us. So, as I have to keep looking back, I think about how it's kind of at life. Some things you have to look back on in order to learn and grow in my case right now to make sure my bail's even. So I think you do have to look back to make sure that your life is evening out. And you also have to look forward to make sure that you're on the right path, or in my case, the right row. So my question to you is, if you come to that fork in the road, are you gonna turn around and go backwards where you came from and keep living how you were living? Or are you gonna go straight or take a corner and try a new path? It's kind of all up to us on how we live our life and how we're gonna do it and, you know, kind of if we're gonna let people control where it goes or if we're gonna control where it goes. I realized quite a long time ago that I'm gonna control where it goes. But five months ago, I took a curve in that road and went on a different path. And I tell you what, I have been coming out of my shell like no other. And anyone that knows me knows that I, again, am the quiet, shy person in the corner in a room full of people. Or by the people 